So once you have your Google Earth imagery loaded into SketchUp, one of the first things you want to do is probably to create a polygon uh, showing your site area. Uh, and you'll want to make this um, for a number of reasons, not only to show where your site is, but you'll probably also want to cover up um, the underlying air photo because your design is probably not going to include these cars or these uh, truck trailers and you want to show maybe some grass or walkways or something like that you, uh, you need to somehow cover this up so the easiest thing to do is to go into plan view first which you know you, you, when you first uh, load your imagery it might look something like this to go into plan view you just sort of bring it like so um, and you can create a, a rectangle if you want. That's one way you can do this. Um, but I'm actually going to recommend using this um, line tool because if you want to create a more complicated geometry, it's not going to work with a rectangle. By the way, to undo anything, you just uh, do Alt Backspace. You just delete that there, Alt Backspace. So now we're going to go ahead and create this line. So we'll start at some given corner and we'll draw. And you'll notice how the color um, changes when it um, uh, when it aligns with a certain axis in the map and we can just go ahead and cover up stuff that is going to be part of our site plan here um, you'll probably do this more carefully than I'm doing it and the hard part is when you get here when you get to the end point you got to be really careful of where you click it in order to create a polygon and you basically have to cl click it on this outer circle here um, and it looks a little bit funny now and if you go like this you'll you'll see though that it still more or less renders correctly now just to make sure that you're really you don't get these kind of funny looking um, issues or these striping where it's just because it's right at the level of the air photo because remember we're not using terrain here um, one of the things you'll probably want to do is extrude it a little bit and to extrude it you go up to this tool right here the push pool tool and you click on it and you can manually pull it up a little bit um, you can also go in and s into this bottom right thing here and set the distance yourself I'm saying it at about a quarter of a meter that's probably totally fine it doesn't really have any big impact on what you see there so now we've got a covered up site and this is what we can use as kind of our canvas um, and now when you see when I scroll around because I've extruded a little bit I don't get that funny looking kind of striping that we had before.